Sheriff's deputies are looking for a black SUV said to be involved in a Sunday night fatal hit and run. 38 year old Antonio White was killed while crossing the street trying to check on his dog. One local business owner says this isn't the first time someone's been hit, but he hopes it's the last. During the middle of the day, cars zip down Pionona Avenue. You now I've seen some people got hit. In fact, I know one person that got hit twice crossing Pionona. When the sun sets, it's harder for drivers to see. I would like to see better street lighting because you have some, some dark spots uh, out here. John Hillman's barber shop has been on the corner of Pionona and Carroll Street for 43 years. It's in front of where Antonio White was hit and killed. The cars are falling before you know it. The next thing you know, you, 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 you got to get out of the way or you're going to get hit. Deputies say White was walking across the street with his dog. The vehicle hit the animal. He wasn't in a crosswalk when the accident happened. When he went to check on his pet, a black Cadillac Escalade hit White and sped off. Frankly, having the highest numbers in those particular areas, pedestrian death, is not a statistic that we're proud of. Macon Bibb Commissioner Elaine Lucas is part of the city's Pedestrian Fatality Review Board. She says it's time to research safer ways for people who travel down the city's busy roads. We as a committee will work to develop strategies to address safety, especially in those areas where we continue to have deaths. Lucas says it'll take more than putting up a light to fix the problem. It'll take education. People use those areas for walking, for biking, uh, jogging, all of those kinds of things. Hillman is hopeful to see a change, so Macon can cut back on its pedestrian deaths. If we can make some improvement on crossing the street, and it'll make it safer for, uh, for the community. White's dog was taken to the animal shelter. It has a broken ankle but is in stable condition. Lucas and the board plan on meeting in the next coming weeks. Investigators are looking for that black Cadillac Escalade. They say it has large aftermarket rims and a Florida license plate. If you can help, call the Bibb County Sheriff's Office at number 751-7500.